Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everyone had a good weekend. This is my last video of the week that I'm going to be making simply because it's so easy for me to make content. I just gotta think of something and make it. So I'm thinking of making my top 5 growth stock for this video. That's right, top 5. Um, why top 5? I don't know. Just 5 feels like a good number. Uh, so, and these are personal companies I'm invested into. I'm not going to share you how many shares I own, uh, what, you know, what my positions are, nothing like that. All I'm telling you guys is I'm in personally invested into these. Uh, so you guys can go out and short it if you want and bring down the stock price because please do. I would love to buy more at cheaper prices. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, I would appreciate it. A lot of YouTubers ask for it, so I might as well too. It might not help my channel grow, but I never know at the end of the day. It could. So right now, as of recording, the market is down. We are having a red day tomorrow, unless this gets reversed by morning. But June could be a very ugly month. Don't know, maybe June could be a, a down month. We need a down month. We need a pullback. The market is just too crazy right now. But that's my opinion. Donald Trump probably tried to prevent it. He wants blue sky breakout. I still think that's a possibility by summertime. And summertime is almost here. So let's see if my prediction becomes true. Uh, anyways, yeah. So the European markets were red. Uh, the Asian market hasn't officially open yet oil is down a little bit uh, and US CAD is at 138 which makes me happy because our currency is getting a little bit better to compare to the US and that brings a smile to my face so anyways moving forward uh, my first stock and obviously everyone is aware of this is Aurora I believe that Aurora is a growth stock think about it you know they, uh, there's so much potential, like Canada is still growing as a market, Europe is still growing as a market, United States is still growing as a market, and the world is still growing as a market. Aurora is in everything right now, so they would be classified as a growth company. And then if we look at the, if we look at the market cap, you know, Six uh, at March thirty first, two thousand nineteen, the company was valued at nine point one billion dollars. Right now, the company is valued at one point five five billion. So, in theory, if rich people decide to come back and pump Aurora stock back up, you could potentially make a lot of money. But you are gambling on the success of Aurora as a business, and you're gambling that rich people will get excited and will come back into Aurora stock and push it back to being a almost 9 to 10 billion dollar company in the future. Don't know if that will happen this year, don't know if it will happen next year, but I think one day in the future we will see Aurora back as a 10 billion dollar company unless Aurora goes bankrupt, which I don't see happening at all right now. They are safe. Aurora is very safe right now as a business that's my opinion uh from reading their finances uh i might make another video next week on their finances why you know uh i think aurora is not going bankrupt but uh so this acquisition of rivia is a huge huge deal because according to uh according to management they believe that the cbd market can be 25 billion dollars or something like that um i don't see that market cap but they believe that it's a big big market and i do believe that it's a big big market that's untapped that people need there needs to be more advertisement for uh uh the cbd market in the united states to be worth a lot of money and i believe that this company is a big deal because the synergies is very good. Aurora has a very good brand. And so does Roar Sports. 
I think USC will market the crap out of this and uh, they will tap into the CBD market in a big way with Roar Sports and I think Aurora also has a very strong brand. I think you combine Rivia with Aurora with USC. It's going to be the leader of the uh, CBD market in the United States. So, and then right now, Aurora is stealing market share from Canopy Growth. So, you know, that's, I'm bullish on it. Doesn't mean the stock can't drop. If we look at it from a charting perspective, Aurora stock is downtrending right now, so I think that's gonna go lower. I think we could see this thing back at you know nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, I'm not gonna gamble that low. If it goes down to roughly twelve dollars, I'm picking up more shares. It may not. It just may just pop back up to fifteen, sixteen dollars. I have no idea what the market wants to do with Aurora, or rather. Rich people, I have no idea what they want to do, but I hope it goes down. I'm not selling my shares. I am sitting on a loss right now on my position in Aurora. Like I said, I could have sold out. I could have gambled that the Aurora stock was going to go down more, uh, but I didn't. And now, you know, I have to live with my decision of not selling out. So I think it's going to recover when a new CEO comes in. I think the stock price is going to go back up. So right now, in the short term, I would rather see the stock price go down because I want to add to my position. But we'll see what happens. Uh, Aurora uh, to buy CBD retail Rivia for 40... Oh, I already talked about that. Yeah, Aurora Sports, I already talked about that. So next uh, company I want to talk about is GameStop. GameStop is not really a growth company. I kind of consider it is simply because the market cap is so low. It's a $262 million company and they own a lot of stores. They are in the gaming industry. Uh, yes, digital is taking over and GameStop doesn't have a strong fundamental business right now. They may recover their business, but long term, there is no strong fundamentals, but just simply if it's so cheap and the fact that they introduce new management, a miracle could get paid off. And I believe that if, I believe that right now in this situation that we're in, game sales, hardware sales are through the roof simply because people are at home, they're bored, the kids are not going to school. They want to play video games and since money is tight right now, GameStop is probably selling a lot of used games and they're probably raking in the money right now because used games are their milk and butter. Or is their milk and butter. They make a ton of money off of used games. Um, so I'm bullish. I think that, you know, if they ever make money back, they will, you know, and they ever pay back dividends, they would make uh, a lot of investors happy. I don't think they will pay back dividends. I think right now, the, what they want to do rather than pay back dividends is to buy back stock. Simply because their stock is so dirt cheap, uh, they have been buying back stock. There's, the stock is shorted 55.59 million shares right now. They have a float of uh, 49 and they have an outstanding of 64. In order for them to pay you $1 per share, they would have to pay $65 million in one quarter just to pay you back $1 per share. Uh, Michael Berry is also invested into this. Michael Berry first revealed a significant stake in GameStop back in August, arguing that the balance sheet was in good shape and that the retailer cash flow justify a much higher share price. Burry also argued for a massive share, buy, share buyback program giving the bean down stock price. So yeah, I think uh, GameStop is uh, a very good speculative uh, recovery company play. I don't know if the stock price is going to go down lower. If it does, I definitely will be adding on to my position. Not going to share my position, but I will definitely add on to my position the lower GameStop stock goes. Uh, and then Liberal Health Science is my third one. Uh, my third company, I am, you know, I 53 cents is not bad, 
but I would say if you can get it in the low 40s, which is a possibility because Canopy just crashed. So if Canopy continues to crash, it could drag down Liberal Health Science stock back down to 42 cents, which would make it a buying opportunity. I 53 cents is okay, but if you buy here, you may take a loss. Long term, this is a growth company, period. They are growing every day. They are they can they still have the ability to grow more stores. They have the ability to gain more medical patients. They also have uh when the rec market turns on, their sales are gonna go through the roof. And I think you know at at one hundred eighty three million dollar market cap, I think it's cheap. But again, that's my opinion, not financial advice. So we'll see what where liberal health science future grow or goes. But I've been following the. I don't know when the earnings are coming up, uh, but I've been following the company closely, and their sales literally doubled, almost more than doubled from if you take it back, you know, in December. They, they their growth, they are, you know, every day, you know, it fluctuates. Some days is lower, but their their flower sales almost doubled. Uh, I seen two thousand. Now it's like sitting at three thousand five hundred forty eight ounces per week and then the the milligrams also have increased dramatically i think uh, before they were sitting at like 4000 or 3000 milligrams now it's sitting at 6000 milligrams they are beating they are basically almost beating cure leaf and cure leaf has more stores they are beating cure leaf on the on the uh, flower sales and they're almost tying them on the uh, mgs thc so liberal health science is doing something right and i don't think the market is rewarding the stock enough for its accomplishments but i'm a this is a long-term hold i think that i'm gonna hold out until uh florida becomes legal and the longer it takes florida to come legal the better it is for liberal health science simply because they can uh they can build up the stores and the more stores they have for legalization and the more inventory they have, the better shape the company will be when uh, when the uh, Florida opens for rec, which will happen eventually. Uh, I thought they would release the earnings by now. It's been such a long time. I need to leave a message. Hmm. I could leave them a message on Monday because I want to find out when the investor when they're gonna release earnings reports because I want to see what the numbers are like. Third star, fourth star, kind of a risky play, but this is a oil extractor in Canada uh, in Edmonton, which is kind of cool because I live in Edmonton. Uh, it, it has a lot of potential. Because it could skyrocket on uh, on some big news, but you know it's gamble at the end of the day. It could drop down lower. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. I just you know I, like I said, this one is definitely more on the riskier side. But I do have an investment in this, and if it does drop down to ten cents, I'm picking up more shares. Uh, if it drops to five cents, I have to pick up more shares and gamble that this company is not going bankrupt. Uh, you know, but uh, that's my pl game plan, even though I may lose a lot of money. I also may make a lot of money too. This thing goes back to a dollar. You are looking at 5xing your money. 5xing your money, which is insane in my opinion. 5x your money in the market is something that's very hard to do. Slang. Canopy is crashing right now, so Slang could go back, but this is definitely a growth co company. Bruce Linton is invested into this one, uh, and he's also an advisor on this one. And you know, if it goes back to thirteen cents, that's a buying opportunity. I bought some at fifteen cents. This thing can go back to two dollars, which would be an insane amount of return on investment. It may not even even at a dollar. I would say that would be a huge return on investment. Uh, is the company going bankrupt? I don't think so. I looked into their finances. They don't look like they're going bankrupt. And Bruce Lynn wouldn't join a horrible a company that's going bankrupt, would he? Just to trick retail investors into losing all their money. Maybe. 
I think Bruce Linden also has personal investments in this, like actual stocks and not just options. But anyways, that's it for my top five growth stock. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is useful. Uh, this is my own personal picks. Uh, you guys have your own personal picks. This no, none of this is financial advice. This is for peer entertainment purposes. Hopefully, you find my, my picks good or bad. Let me know in the comments below. You think my five picks are horrible? You think I should look for different investments? Uh, you know, I, I've done a lot of research on all these companies. And, you know, this is my opinion. So, don't follow me. Not a financial advisor. This is own, my own personal picks. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.